Well, hello there. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Unreal Engine VR mod, the Prey Dog mod that everyone's talking about. So I'm going to open a, a couple things here. I'm going to open the folder that you're going to see when you download the uh, injector mod. I'll have links to everything in the description that I'm talking about here. Uh, so if you click on the exe file here, the UEVR injector exe, this is what will pop up, okay? And to prove it to you, I'm just going to click it. And it, it, it runs as administrator mode. It, it, that's what it wants to run as. So to give you a little tip here, just right click on the exe, go to properties, go to compatibility, and then make sure this is checked off here run this program as administrator, okay? You're gonna have to do it anyway. So that just forces it to run as administrator each time it opens. So we're gonna move that away. Now I'm already loaded in Way of the Hunter, as you can see. Uh, but if you go to, again, links in the description, if you go to this little Google Docs page here, they have a giant list of compatible games. So if you, it, there's a little get getting started. I'll leave the, again, links in the description, a bunch of useful information here, any information you need pretty much for getting this all set up and started. Uh, don't be overwhelmed though. This video, I'm gonna show you, it's easy. It's not that hard to do. So if you go to the testing log up here, this is basically where everyone kind of uh, contributes to uh, testing games. And if you type in the game that you want to find, as long as it's supported, we'll type Way of the Hunter. There it is. So it popped up here. So you check out Way of the Hunter or whatever game you're looking at. And you could see people type in, if it works perfectly, this one got an A. It works perfectly. So uh, that's fantastic. And then it shows here what mode you want to be in. So this is native stereo or synchronized sequential. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in the injector mod. So... All you have to do to get the injector mod to work, I'm going to start from the beginning again. You're going to download and unzip this file. This is the folder you're going to see here. You're going to open the injector mod using this exe file in administrator mode. This window will pop up. You will then start Steam VR. I have Steam VR running. I'll show you. It's right here in the background running. Okay, cool. After you start Steam VR, you're going to start the game that you want to play, okay? In normal PC mode. This isn't VR mode. We're not in VR yet. Then, you're going to open your injector mod. You're going to click this little top section here and make sure that it's selecting the game application that you want to run. It's kind of weird. It's a weird interface, I know. But yeah, that, there's a little drop-down menu here. It's very sneaky, hard to see under the inject button. Or it might not be inject if, you know, if it's on another thing. Who knows? Anyway, make sure the game's selected. Select whether you're running OpenVR or OpenXR. This will be dependent on what headset you're using and what, you know, format you want to run in. And then there's some extra options down here. So right here is that rendering method that we were talking about, synced sequential or native stereo. Uh, it said native stereo on the, the, the list here that I, I have. Again, we'll bring that up. So it says uh, native stereo for Way of the Hunter. So we're keeping it, keeping it there, but you could change things around, play with it, feel, feel it out. Uh, and then the last thing you want to do is just hit this inject button. So again, make sure Steam VR is running, whatever's running there. Make sure the game's running. Hit inject. Make sure the game is selected here before you do. And then boom, you're in VR. So if I grab my headset, you could see I'm actually gonna throw it on now. So really pretty game, really, really pretty game. Could be a little bit sharper. And the trees and things in the background are kind of moving wiggling around a little bit but that's okay uh but yeah this is where you could kind of adjust things here so it looks like <laughs> i have the rifle right under me that's my body so it looks like we're in uh <laughs> directly in um first person mode so what i could do here all right so it's a little finicky i had to put my headset down actually and 
and get here. So how I fixed it is if you're stuck like this in Way of the Hunter, at least, how I fix this, because I, I need to adjust this, this menu and see how the cursor's stuck in the middle. So what I did is I hit the Windows key, moved my cursor down, and made sure I was on top of the window, and then just clicked on it. And now I could adjust it. As soon as it goes over, though, it goes away. So you need to be careful. So, whoops, I didn't want that. So keep the mouse cursor on this window, and you'll be able to use it. As soon as it goes off, it's no bueno. Uh, in here, we could change the camera stuff. So if we do a decoupled pitch, uh, that it, I guess, decouples it from your character itself. I'm not sure. Decouples pitch, I don't know. We'll figure things out as we go. But you could adjust the camera anyway here. So obviously we want to be lined up. I think uh, closer to zero is a little bit better. Um, it, you could probably recenter. Uh, there's a recenter view, boom. So that's where it should be. And then we can maybe move up just a touch. You could put in maybe numbers here, perhaps. It's a very finicky thing to adjust. Can I type? Well, what if I do like 50? I can't type, can I? Camera offset, can I right click it? No. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, you could move around your stuff. Uh, for now, we're just gonna keep it at zero. We're gonna keep it at zero and we're just gonna walk around, okay? Okay, so once everything's set up, the game, honestly, it's not too bad in VR. Way of the Hunter is really, really smooth, on my computer at least. I'm running a 9700K and a 3080. Right now, it's kind of just a walking simulator. I mean, that's kind of Way of the Hunter. It's a, it's a, it's a hunting game, so it is kind of a walking simulator. But right now, in VR at least, Way of the Hunter, for me, I would have to do a lot more tinkering. Uh, oh, look at that. They're, they're moving. They heard me coming. But yeah, I would have to do a lot more tinkering. And the reason for this is, is I'll show you. So what you're seeing right now is kind of the, uh, the mods version of, of, of showing the game, but it's not what I'm seeing. So if I actually, if I hit the windows key here and I show you what I'm seeing, I go into VR view. So now you'll see what I'm seeing. And if you look, if I look down here, you'll see the UI down there and I can't, I can't move anything right now because in order for me to, to move in the game, I, the game needs to be the main focus. And VR view is the main focus right now. So all I could do is look around. I can't move or anything. If I hold W, no, I'm not gonna move. So, so if you look, there's a UI below me. That UI stays there. And when I move the mouse up or down, the, the, uh, the UI moves with the mouse and it's, it's essentially acting as if it's the window that's like the screen, right? That you would be moving with. And when I move the mouse cursor up and down, it actually moves the rifle. I'm looking down while trying to talk to you guys, so I might not be talking directly in the mic. So, so when you're looking down, it, it moves, when you move the most mouse cursor down, it moves the rifle down. When you move the mouse cursor up, it'll move the, the rifle up to aim. That's how you would aim. So these things could be adjusted, obviously. I'm gonna go back in to the game so we could move around here. Uh, so you don't, again, see if I look down, you don't see that UI again. The UI is attached to the screen. So this is for your viewing pleasure, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing things a bit differently in VR. So it's not perfect, it's not perfect, but it is something that is enjoyable for now in terms of just getting around and enjoying VR games, uh, you know, more VR games, we have more access to these now, and uh, each game's gonna be a little different, okay? This game has some issues there. It, it might take some time to set up, but I'm sure you can set it up with some tinkering if you know what you're doing there, and then some games just work great right out of the box. So I went and played uh, Kena Bridge of Spirits and that just worked right away. I didn't really have to do anything. I went into the, you know, the proper settings to set it up, uh, recommended on that, that uh, test kind of Google Doc and it was beautiful. You know, I played with the Xbox controller. You know, the, the controller obviously worked, all the keybinds were there. Uh, because it's it, it's there to begin with and you don't need to do anything there but in VR it, it was beautiful it was great it worked fantastic 
Uh, it could be better. I mean, it's not a native VR game, so, you know, maybe things aren't optimized perfectly for it. You might not be getting the best out of your, your, your computer uh, optimization, and, and graphically it could probably look better, but for what it was, just, you know, I never anticipated playing Kana, Brid Bridge of Spirits, or even this game, you know, Way of the Hunter in VR. Having this accessibility is amazing. I mean, look at the grass. You don't get this kind of grass in VR game, like, <laughs> in, in just normal VR games. This grass is so lush and beautiful, and the draw distance is, as you know, as far as I can see. That's new to VR for me. I, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm not playing the right games, but... But you have to kind of play right now a PC VR game, uh, or I should say a PC game uh, in VR to get these kind of experiences because right now VR games on their own aren't kind of made in this way for whatever reason, you know? Uh, so, so you do get a lot of benefits obviously by playing, you know, games that are already designed for PC in VR because they're more developed, they're, they're, they're better developed games, usually, right? Because PC is a, a much more popular platform, so these games are going to be much more, you know, w w much more rounded, I should say. And, and you see that, so, anyway. I'm going to stop talking, we're just going to walk around for a bit, and... Yeah, I hope this video was somewhat helpful and informative and, uh, I don't know, some of this information was hopefully helpful to some of you. But I'm excited to try different games and to see how they run. Again, some will run bad, some will run fantastic. Try them out. See if you like it, you know? And then research it. See if there's any config files. If you don't know how to do it yourself, you could install a config file from someone else. So if you want to play a game like this one, Way of the Hunter, and you're not too sure what you're doing, maybe in a little bit, check to see if there's some config files up, up somewhere, you know? There's a Discord server, I'll, I'll link everything down below. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, have a nice day. I hope this video was helpful. Like if you like it. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And... Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing more here. I, <laughs> this, this opens up so much to VR. So many more games that I could play, review, share with you all, and put on my channel now, to be honest. Something like Kana, Bridge of Spirits, I never thought of putting on my channel. But now I can, because it's in VR. So, anyway, I'm excited. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna show this game to my mom. Because, to be honest, she's going to enjoy it so much. I will just plant her in a spot like here where she could just look out into the distance, enjoy the scenery, look at the wildlife. There's a little something running around down there. Some butterflies in the air. And enjoy the, the peaceful sounds of birds. The trees are kind of moving in a weird way, though. I'm going to be honest. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye, bye, bye.